Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm your host, Lassan Fay, and we're gonna go deal with a dragon. We'll exact a heavy price. They will not take us easily. Alright, so let's deal with the Templars, who are just finding their way up here. Oh great, I leveled. Solus? Oh, you don't have barrier back. I'll drink that. Hey, my dear. that or Okay. Right, yes. Crab. Crab. Because I totally have enough time to do this. Let's deal with that one. Serious, you guys handle that. Formed. Thank you. 
Let everyone else handle the things. Okay. Okay. Aim the trebuchet. Coming our way. Take a health po potion. Doing okay. It's at least gonna wait until we get things going. I forget how many more rounds of this I have to go. <laughs> oh dear. Anyways, we're the firefight. Alright, you guys handle that. I'm serious, handle that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did. small fry they can take on big bad leader ow leave me alone don't bother me please leave me alone Okay. Go this way. You can you can go after Cassandra, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. And at least I'm far enough back that his wall's not stopping me. So let's do be careful. All the things really really quickly all right 
That's loot and stock up. All right, aim the trebuchet. Oh, such a slow animation, which, to be fair, is, like, pretty realistic. Alright, that's ready to go. And, oh gosh, I just got thrown by an explosion and landed on my back face. beyond your ken no more uh do i want to know why yeah what are you why are you doing this mortals beg for truth they cannot have it is beyond what you are what i was know me Know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. The will that is Corypheus. Oh dear. It is you him. You will kneel. No. You're forcing this fight for no reason. You will resist. You will always resist. It matters not. I am here to anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Herald. You interrupted a ritual years ago. Yeah, in that does hurt. And instead of dying, you stole its purpose. I do not know how you survived, but what marks you was touched, what you flail and rift. I crafted to assault the very heavens. Uh huh. And you used the anchor to undo my work. The gall. Indeed. I don't care about the divine, so what's it supposed to do? What is this thing meant to do? It is meant to bring certainty where there is none. For you, the certainty that I would always come for it. I once breached the Fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own, to champion withered to winter and correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. Yep, throw me the anchor towards the permanent. trebuchet. You have spoiled it with your stumbling. And I immediately grab a sword as a mage. So be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and god. It requires. Oh, good. Well, at least everyone else made it out. And you. I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must die. Yep. 
Why am I holding a sword? You expect me to fight, but that's not why I kept you talking. Enjoy your victory. Here's your prize. He's distracted. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Viewers, the Herald of Andraste. Interesting. I never noticed that before. That shocked enemies deal damage to other enemies. Well, apparently I'll get my war table back. Yep, it hurt. It hurt a lot. So, we fell very far down into a pit I'm curious if you can actually see the hole you fell through further up nope it's been boarded over so you can't actually see daylight anymore probably did this just to save all the walking animations. But I really wish I would have kept the faster walk. Ah, I did. Yay! That. Is that. The Mark of the Rift. You have gained the skill the Mark of the Rift. It's a focus-based ability. It causes massive damage and can even kill some enemies instantly. Um, focus is a resource that is gained each time someone in your party deals damage. Each party member has a personal focus meter, but all party members gain focus when a single member deals damage. Okay, so it is saying this is essentially to be like, hey, there's a new thing. Please use it. Even though it's... I don't like where it is on the quick bar. Well, that worked effectively. I don't like where this is. You move there. Because you got rid of my favorite skill. There we go. I hate the fact that it does that, especially since I had other open spots, but it still automatically puts it in one. And I've made it outside. There's fire there's fire. So let's move towards the fire. Because fire at least produces heat. Oh dear. That fire went out. Well, there was more fire off that way. Oh joy. We get to walk. Through the blizzard. I don't even have my companions to talk for me. Getting lost. Getting lost. Walking into the wind. 
which is all the more chilling, I'm sure. I hope I'm still headed in the direction of the fire. I really, really do. Um... Please still be in the direction of the fire. But wow, like, snow up to, like, almost the knees. Good thing my boots come up higher. Well, there was a fire. Embers. Recent? What a lovely sound. I like how you can kind of hear the snow crunching with each step. Alright, because that's where we're going to go. Ooh, light! Voices I recognize. What would you have me tell them? This is what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. <sighs> we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow. And with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Great. Do, you... Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are. Which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. <laughs> that, or you are believed dead. Or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature. Only his effect on us. Fair enough. Uh, but yelling's not gonna The help. only thing yelling gets us is a headache. Another headache. They know. But our situation, your situation, is complicated. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen her return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That Great. is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure. What we, perhaps, must come to believe. Right. I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps. But I didn't die. Of course. And the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. <laughs> Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? Mother Giselle. I just don't see how what I believe matters. 
Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. We can't match that with hope alone. Hey, I'm walking. At least they're not yelling. Had to join an in, guys. Army needs more than an enemy. It needs a cause. A word. Okay. Not wearing any shoes. The humans have not raised one of our people so high for ages beyond counting. The faith is hard won, Letheline. Worthy of pride, save one detail. The threat Corypheus wields. The orb he carried. It is ours. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. We <laughs> must find out how he survived. And we must prepare for their reaction when they learn the orb is of our people. And how do you know this? All right. What is it and how do you know about it? Such things were foci, said to channel power from our gods. Some were dedicated to specific members of our pantheon. All that remains are references in ruins, and faint visions of memory in the fade, echoes of a dead empire. But however Corypheus came to it, the orb is elven, and with it, he threatens the heart of human faith. Their blame won't matter if we can't get out of this wilderness. That is the immediate problem. And it offers a solution that may secure your place in their hearts. You saved them at Haven. Perhaps you can again. No. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it. Changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. Take in the pretty mountain vistas. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. That's not the staff I gave you.
Well, would you look at that? Residents. <sighs> oh, good. Get another perk. And they're all talking and want me to come over. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. Indeed. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? Yeah, uh, this stupid thing on my hand. He came for this, and now it's useless to him, so he wants me dead. That's it. The anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. Uh... What? That's a lot of people. You. Uh... Yeah. I don't know what to say. Say that you will not make me regret this. <laughs> if you're not sure, why do it? Because I believe this is what was meant to be. That without you, there would be no Inquisition. What so it means for the future, how you lead us, that is entirely up to you. So you're giving me a big sword to represent my power. Though I am a mage. Though it's really cool. Um. And I love the fact that, like, you can do it as an elf, as a mage, you can do it for other reasons, so I'm gonna do it because it's right. This isn't about a greater message. We have an enemy and we have to stand together. We'll do what is right. The Inquisition will fight for all of us. Wherever you lead us. Have Luke. our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition! Will you follow? Three. Will we fight? Will we triumph? Lovely. Your leader, your herald, your inquisitor. Right, yes, because my arm is totally strong enough to do that. Got a little twig arm. <laughs> I love how Josephine just like gets into the spirit is like oops mm. 
Well, looks like we gotta clean some things up. A lot of things up. So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Can I get some different clothes? Um. Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, that this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. What True. if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade? Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Okay. Um. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've seen no darkspawn other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an archdemon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. Okay, is he actually allied? Corypheus wants to restore to Vinter. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tivinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Yep, and Dorian agrees with that. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Uh -huh. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. Uh-huh. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He, he can help. All right. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately on the battlements. Trust uh -huh. me, it's complicated. Uh huh. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing if Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. <laughs> All right, this well. This is the Inquisition. A dusty old ruin filled with battered soldiers. Well, we Keep just got here. your mouth and open your eyes. You'd see that the Inquisition is our one hope. Indeed. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, happy trails. <laughs>